Hey everybody, so today I have a new phone to show you. This one was sent over to me to review and this is the TCL 30 SE. Now this one is pretty budget friendly. Now I've already been using it for a few days, kind of get a feel of it and uh, just to see how well it does work. I even have my SIM card in it right now from T-Mobile from my main phone. Now definitely keep in mind that this is a 4G LTE phone. It does not have 5G and depending on where you are, you might want to double check that because I know like where I am, uh, 5G is very prominent here, and I actually get pretty good speeds with 5G. Uh, as for the 4G LTE, right now, I just, I'm just i doing a test right now, and I'm getting 4 down and a little over 11 up, almost 12 up. So it's a huge difference with the 5G. The 5G, I get about 200 down, sometimes 300 in my area. Uh, so you definitely want to kind of take a look at that. Now, I mean, it is, does connect. It does work. It uh, Streaming will work and all of that. Now inside the box, there are some other things that you do get with it. Like you do get a case. It's pretty basic silicone soft flex case. You also do get a screen protector that you can place on there. You got your user manuals and it does have a SIM card tool. You also got your adapter and your USB cord. And this is a type C, so you could use any type C. All right, so what I'll do is I'll show you some close-ups of the phone itself. Uh, it is a 6.52 inch screen. You do have a camera there in the front punch hole design. You got your buttons here on the sides, charger here and your speakers. And then you also got your, for your SIM card and you could also put a micro SD in there. At the top, there is a 3.5. So you could actually plug in headphones if you're still doing that. On the back, you have a, a triple camera system here. All right, so this will be a little test of video with audio. It only allows up to 1080p with this one not sure about any kind of image stabilization doesn't really appear to be you do have a fingerprint unlock and then that just gives some information about it itself and this one has a space gray design to it it does check for updates it is updated right now and it is TCL software if we go to the about section on the phone get a little bit of information there TCL 30 SE display 720 by 1600. So it's not going to be your, you know, high definition display, 128 gigabytes of storage, four gigabytes of RAM. Of course, some of that storage is going to be utilized for the system. CPU is MTK G25. I don't really know much about that one. Uh, you get the UI version for the TCL. Android version is 12. Your battery capacity, 5,000 milliamp hours. It actually has pretty good battery life. And then you can get your build number and everything. Now, as for streaming, it will work pretty well. It's also on the 4G LTE, so even though it was only getting a, a slow speed, it's streaming just fine on here. Uh, so if you're wanting to stream, no issues with that whatsoever. It actually has a pretty good display, and it I haven't had any buffer issues, so pretty decent there. And the battery life for streaming is pretty good. All right, so my conclusion after using this for a few days... For what it is, it's not a bad phone. And uh, it's the cheapest phone I have ever used personally. I mean, it's even cheaper than my very first phone I ever owned, which was a flip phone. Anyway, this isn't going to win any awards. It's not, you know, a flagship. You're not gonna get a flagship at this kind of cost. But if you're looking for something that is budget friendly, it will still perform pretty well. It will still do some, you know, your day-to-day -day activities. You can still play your bills. You can do basic games. You can do streaming, those types of things and make your phone calls and your text this will work for you. Just keep in mind that this one is also only 4G LTE, so you wanna check your area. Also, this one will not work with CDMA networks, and it only is compatible with networks like T-Mobile, AT&T. Uh, you could also use probably like Mint Mobile and a couple of the others that use a lot of the same, that use the same networks. Uh, it's not gonna work for Verizon, Boost, Sprint. I mean, Sprint is now T-Mobile, but it's not gonna work for Verizon or uh, like Spectrum or any of like the cable companies. At, the, at least that's what they said. I don't have them, so I can't test it. I have T-Bubble personally. But anyway, like I said, if you're looking for something that's budget friendly and will do your day-to-day -day activities, this one will work for you. This is the TCL 30SE.